pandemonium is currently surrounding the recent steeled veterans warbond trailer and blog post for helldivers 2 which has drummed up a lot of questions surrounding the game's monetization model as the game nears launch community concerns and enthusiasm are reaching a crescendo so hopefully breaking down some of the revelations from the aforementioned trailer and post will be beneficial so what is a war bond? In a nutshell, this is how they're going to work. You acquire war bonds by purchasing them with in-game premium currency called super credits, either by playing the game and exploring points of interest or using real money to purchase them. Once you own a war bond, you can then spend your hard-earned medals to unlock the desired items from within that war bond that you want to use. Medals are awarded by completing objectives, missions, and operations. Medals can also be found the old-fashioned way by exploring the battlefield. The devs have explained that the gear in the war bonds just keeps accumulating, so that means that they're not going to retire old war bonds as new ones are released. You can pick them up and complete them at any time. So it certainly seems like we're going to have plenty to run at in terms of gear acquisition and variety, and to be honest with you folks, I'm all for that. That sounds great. When reflecting upon this system, my initial thoughts here are firstly that this really confirms how much the devs are leaning into build diversity and the approach that we were all hoping for, which, to be honest, is really bloody exciting and a huge green tick for me. Me. Putting everything aside for a moment, this is the single most important aspect of the gameplay that I'm personally interested in, and I know many others are too. Games I've mentioned in previous videos like Deep Rock Galactic, Outriders, Dark Tide, all use this design pillar well, and whilst they all have their flaws, and that in some cases is the monetization model as well, these are all games that I find myself absolutely lapping up the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay in. However, this revelation can also be viewed as a bit of a double-edged sword. Whilst the devs have confirmed that War Bond are not pay to win FOMO driven acquisitions I can certainly see that you may get a bit of an advantage if you're prepared to drop some real money into the game to acquire those super credits that they've mentioned that we've now been made aware of now this is incredibly important to note here these super credits can be acquired through regular gameplay by exploring points of interest and in my opinion this is an absolute win which we should be focused on however they can also be purchased meaning that in my opinion this seems like it's going to be possible for people to get a bit of a lead on acquiring the more epic gear and unlocks at least that's how i've perceived it we're all given a war bond called the hell divers mobilized war bond when we first purchased the game so the positive there is that we're all going to get a chance to immediately look at how this system works in real terms from the off in addition to the war bond system there's also a confirmed superstore where we can spend our super credits this has a rotating storefront which is much akin to the one in dark tide and appears to be strictly cosmetic at the moment and i hope that i've got that right there's also been confirmation that the war bond system is static and the superstore system rotates now i personally find the dark tide rotating storefront pretty frustrating if i'm honest but i don't place a huge amount of emphasis on it when i'm playing but that being said i can totally understand why some people are much more annoyed at it than me i can also understand that this may be quite a polarizing point within the hell divers community and i have seen already some people voicing their disdain at this point so i do think that this is going to be something that they are going to get a bit of kickback from in the initial launch window now, how do I personally feel about this? Well, like many others, I do have mixed feelings. I think the primary point is that we're not getting a pay-to-win game, which is an absolute win in my opinion. And I also don't think that this is a particularly aggressive monetization model and that whether we like it or not, most game studios are pushed in this direction more and more as time wears on. But I have absolutely no qualms paying for cosmetics. I did so in Deep Rock Galactic purely because I wanted to support the developers. And I think that their approach has actually done them nothing but good in terms of the way they are viewed by the gaming community as a whole. I would also say that this war bond system is not absolutely ideal simply because I think it gives people a slight and I want to emphasize slight advantage in terms of how quickly new and exciting gear can be acquired and that will have an impact on build diversity and moment to moment gameplay. But what do you think about this folks? Are you generally pleased or perhaps frustrated at the monetization model in place? Sound off in the comments below. So what are we actually going to get in a war bond? I'll go into more detail in my next video but the trade Trailer showcase is a handful of very cool looking weapons and armors. The Jar 5 Dominator with its jet propelled high damage projectiles. The SG 22IE Breaker Incendiary Shotgun. It's modified with incendiary projectiles. Awesome. AR 23E Liberator Explosive Assault Rifle and the P4 Senator Pistol all look like they are leaning into very different aesthetics, damage types, and further emphasize the way in which loadouts are going to synergize together. And I, for one, am incredibly excited to see how this shapes up on the battlefield. I can't wait 
sweet to be having those conversations in Discord with community members, with our friends, talking about how we're going to lock our loadouts together and all have our own designated roles and really synergize and absolutely smash it on the battlefield. But that being said, once again, I can hear the question echo. Will Helldivers 2 be good? Well, look, I think the answer is absolutely. Check out this next video to find out why. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one.